All right, guys, this is Liam West as a guest on Jack's YouTube channel. And today I'll be showing you how to make a gear in Fusion and how to export bodies to 3D print. So let's start by making a gear. How do you do that? Well, you want to go up to the top and find add-ins, right? And it'll be called scripts and add-ins. You can also use shift S to get that, right? You want to click on it, scroll down to the bottom and select spur gear. Now you can either do the C++ or the Python script. It doesn't really matter, okay? Now here's your menu. The diametral pitch, this is the important part, okay? The diametral pitch should be 25.4, um, and that basically makes it so that the diameter of your pitch circle um, is the same number in millimeters as the number of teeth of your gear. Now, if you're on Mac, you won't have this. It'll be called module, and you want to set that to 1, okay? So now I want to set my number of teeth. Let's say I want 40 tooth gear, okay? I'll go down, set my gear thickness. This just depends on your CAD model. Whole diameter can do 9 64ths. All right, now notice how it says the root fillet radius is too large. So just go up to root fillet radius. You can shrink it. You can do like 0 0.002 or something. All right, and then click OK. And now it'll run the script and make you your gear. Okay, so now you have your gear, right? Now you can have a gear. You can also have a body, whatever you want to 3D print. What you want to do is you want to find the component, right? So that's there inside bodies. It's called body one, okay? You want to right click and click save as STL. Okay, just click OK and then name it whatever you want to name, okay? Click Save. All right, now you want to open MakerBot Print. Now you can uh, download MakerBot Print just by Googling MakerBot Print, and it should just be the first link. Pop up right there, select your operating system, whatever. Okay, download it. Uh, it'll ask you to make an account. Just do that, all right? So once you have MakerBot Print, you can open it up. Okay, so now you have your open. Now it's open. Okay, so you want to do project panel, add models, and find your STL file. Now, if you made your model in millimeters, it'll be the correct size, but most people use inches, and MakerBot Print interprets that as millimeters, so you have to scale it up. So you want to click on the body, go over the right, click scale, and uniform scaling, and then the conversion factor is 2540. Okay, from millimeters to inches, just click enter, and it'll scale it right up, okay? Uh, if you are too wide in one direction, because let's say your CAD model wasn't correct, you can scale each of the axes independently if you uncheck uniform scaling. But what you want to do is you want to move the gear to about the center, okay? But what if your body's not oriented correctly, right? So then you can click on the body, go over to the right, click Orient, uh, and just change these uh, to move it around anywhere that you want. Now you want to set up the printer. I already have it set up but you probably won't. You want to click Add a Printer, and it's an unconnected printer, and it is a Replicator 5th Gen. All right, so now it's added the printer. Now you have your body, right? But remember, you're only allowed 40 grams maximum 3D printed material um, in the Rover project. So you want to go over here, Estimates and Print Preview, and click on that. And it'll take a while, but basically what it's doing is it's estimating how much material it'll take, how much print time, and what the print will look like, okay? All right, so it's done loading now, and you can see it shows me what uh, it'll look like, right? So that's the raft that it prints to create a flat surface to print your body on. Uh, and then there you can see our, the inner support structure that gives it its strength. William, what if it's more than 40 grams of mass? So let's say that that's too much, um, and I need to make it smaller. What I can do is I can go to Settings, Print Settings, Custom Settings, Infill, which is just the amount of material on the inside, and I can adjust it here. Okay, so let's say I want to make it 10%. Okay, so there we go, 10% infill. Now I can re-estimate. All right, and so now it'll show me my uh, new estimate, and you can see that the lines are farther apart um, because it's less dense on the inside, and you can also see that the mass went down. So now you have your mass estimate, but what if it's still too heavy, right? So you could either continue decreasing the infill, which might make it unsturdy, or if, let's say you're making a wheel, right, you could also go into your CAD model uh, and cut material out that way, and that'll help you save mass. You don't want to go to like 1% infill, um, because then your structure won't be strong enough. So, once I have all my settings set the way I want them to, I click export, and then I just call it whatever I want, save it to my flash drive. Oops, not STL. So, once you've saved it to your flash drive, just go over to 
the printer, um, uh, plug in your flash drive, go to print, print from external device, find your file, click on it. Everything should work. Uh, if it doesn't work, ask your tech teacher. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Beautiful. Beautiful.